okay now is the step two which is actually uploading the mm joy to firmware to your uh, arduino leo or micro which already have been prepared with a bootstrap loader so it is required a bootstrap loader to be able to do this process so you have to go to step one first if your arduino is not yet has a bootstrap loader so to find mmjoy firmware and software uh, you can search in google actually but this is the complete link of all the version of the arduino so you can download the later version or in this case i'm just downloading the 2016's 11.01 and sometimes i do uh, 2015.09 to eight so this is the the version which able to program a keyboard like emulating a keyboard but this not but this have more advanced features uh, compared to this one and once you download it you unzip into your own created folder any folder and try to search for mmjoy to set up later on i'm going to show you and then you can do the uploading process there and programming your controller in the step four i guess in step three we talk about the hardware preparation first and uh, but the step four we we do the programming itself okay so this is the step two so uh, let's jump in so first of all you download your mmjoy from this side this is actually in russia i think if you have the google translate you can find out what it is man but try to find out this versions down below you can download here and or you can download this versions uh, actually using this one for 2015 version with the keyboard emulator i think this one too I've, i have never tried this but i have this one and this one okay and there's some instruction if you're using pro micro uh, something like this uh, there's an instruction on how you program the pro micro versions uh, here's uh, as i mentioned you have to look for the bootloader comport later on we're going to try that and then you ensure the uh, this is how you program using the firmware you can read this through the step in by step by step in written so i don't have to uh create a website anyway to to do this so it is available in this uh, manual that you can download also from this website okay so this is the most complete version one uh, um of the uh, mmjoy uh, software okay so once you download you basically need to open uh the mmjoy so here is the screen well, hold on oops so once you download the mmjoy to uh firmware software from that uh, website that i just shown you uh you download into a folder any folder you create uh, here i'm just creating my own folder fmjoy2 but i separate the 2015 and the 2016 version so if you go into 2016 versions you can find several folder here this is my own where i save my uh, configurations of my game controller i have my uh, f18c project with a lot of uh, setting here uh, I do have several uh, FS 2020 button box, uh, cockpit uh, settings. So you can save the setting later on. You can just create the folder. But what you want to open up is this MMJoy setup XA. So once you open up that software, it will show you this one. So this one is the open uh, first time the you usually show the this area, the joystick axis as the first uh, uh, screen uh, popping up so this will list down all the controllers connected to you uh, to your uh, computer uh, this one is my mouse for example they can detect it but they cannot program it of course so it, because it has different programming so what you are interested in is this tab firmware so you go here first because this is your first time 
and then you have to select the firmware so just open up this folder so there will be this folder under the mmjoy folder under firmware there are several options here so you 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 can choose the the at mega uh, 32 u4 so this is the file that you have to select by the way you have still have to open this each time you want to program so if you don't do that it won't uh the firmware programming sometimes like you know it won't work so just up just open up again the hex file this file and then chip of course you use the at, at the mega 32 u4 and then the bootloader type is arduino because i'm using arduino and the com port now for com port uh, i'm going to show you later on how to fill up this com port because the one that you have to fill this com port is not your ordinary arduino connected com port so it has to be a bootloader com port so what is the difference i'll show you later on okay so now we prepare the the arduino board that we want to upload the firmware of mmjoy right so here is the arduino pro micro so here if you can see i have already have a, a push button uh, which connected into the reset pin here and the ground pin so this push button is very useful uh, to reset this arduino to be able to open up the bootloader or to execute the bootloader from this uh, Arduino that we already done uh, doing doing it in step one right and then first of all you connect this uh, Arduino board to your computer now so you don't use any USB SP anymore and it's already done on his duty to program the the bootloader here now we connect directly the Arduino board into your computer so here using the USB micro to USB A uh, to your computer i'm using my extension cable uh, and then you connect okay so now it's connected to your to your pc now we switch into a device manager manager view after this but when i press this reset button it will restart this arduino it will execute first the bootloader and then the normal program inside this rom or this memory so to different uh, stages bootloader first nothing happened they goes into normal so we can see that in device manager managers okay so here is the device managers so you can see here this is the normal port of the arduino which is com port number 27 so you can remember this one this one the this port is used by the normal program reside in your arduino leo so actually once the mmjoy firmware uploaded and your game controllers uh, is ready to be used they're going to use this normal port actually port number 27 but during the programming it won't use this port actually it use a bootloader port so how to execute the bootloader you have to reset the, the the arduino micro in this case first so i will press the, the reset button that i've just show, shown you it connect the reset pin of the arduino pro micro into the ground so when i press it it will change the port okay please observe this area of this com port okay now you see it's arduino micro bootloader com 28 so this is the com port number 28 now after a few seconds nothing happens it will switch back into com port 27 so just remember normal one is 27 the bootloader is 28 so let's redo so if i press reset it will change the port into arduino micro bootloader com port number 28 okay, 28 is our bootloader 27 is our normal uh, port so we go back into our mmjoy firmware menu okay when you connected your uh, arduino board into uh, your usb using the cables 
now you're ready to program so ensure the com port is your bootloader com port which is actually com port uh, 28 if you remember and then check if hex file is correct uh, selected and then 80 mega chip is uh, 80 mega 32u4 and bootloader type is arduino and the red com port of the bootloader so then you tick this check button here check uh, auto start upload firmware when com port is active so what happened is that when the com uh, bootloader com port active it will detect it and start the process of the firmware upload the mmjoy firmware upload to your arduino so how to activate that you just simply press uh, press the reset button in your arduino so let's press the button that i've uh, created using a cable for micro because it doesn't have a built-in uh, reset button there so if i press reset button it will detect the bootloader com port and start the uploading of the firmware so it's very quick and it's done how you check it is done you will you can see here so here it shows vid it uh, trip uh, quad for uh, uh, for 888 and then PID 888 and the name is MMJ Reset or MMJ2 uh, to such things. So it's aligned with this uh, naming here. You can change this one into your own uh, vendor ID and uh, peripheral ID or your game controller ID or device ID. So this is vendor ID, this is peripheral ID. Uh, you can change to your own number so it can differentiate between uh, one uh because if not if you don't differentiate this if you only use one uh controllers of of your own it's okay but if you create let's say 10 of them or even you create 20 of them uh, it will be conflicted okay so you have to change this uh into a specific uh i think you can change uh, this one if this is hex number so uh zero to nine and then a b c d e uh uh, f in terms of the hex number and this one also so you can see 001 for example or d002 for example this is your vendor id this is your own id and then each of your devices that you created just create a different number here don't duplicate it because windows then remember uh, which device and peripheral you created okay so we're going to discuss this later on and you can name it uh, differently with, uh, with your own uh, so yes, you can check this one is already programmed and actually you can also check from here It's gone now So why it is gone because it's moved now into human interface uh, devices or HID so here uh, One of this is your this one actually is a HID compliant game controller. So you already uh, created a game controller here uh using your uh, arduino though it is still blank or empty it's not programmed because uh you haven't set any joystick button here so it won't function you even don't have any analog uh, set here and other things so uh, actually it can also output an led using a shift registers functions uh, to light up some buttons or lights or whatever it is uh, but this one I haven't used uh, and rarely used. I just use this one mainly uh, extensively and then this also I use for like uh, yoke that I created or throttle or whatever functions. Even you can program it uh, the curve here rather than in the software and if it's auto calibration is on so it's very useful functions each time you switch on your devices it's it needs auto calibration so it will be good to test everything first and calibrate your joystick every time it switch on it's a bit of not annoyance but it's a guarantee that it's working and it's always calibrated properly so it's a good function later on we're going to discuss these features in the step four of this video um okay so you're done with programming it so now let's do another programming uh one more uh with the with the arduino, arduino leo so we, just now we program with arduino micro so now this port the micro one has been programmed with uh mmjoy firmware so you can mark it you know you can put label that this is already a game controller but still blank or non-functional because you haven't 
do any setup inside this MM Joy 2 uh, game controller. Okay, so let's change. Now we're gonna program another uh, Arduino, which is Leo now, uh, with the MM Joy firmware too. So similarly, you connect uh, your Arduino to your computer. So if you see in the device manager so it's come coming out with the uh, com port number 25 so this one is the normal communication port for that uh, arduino leo but we won't use this one remember we going to use we need to use the uh, the bootstrap uh, loader firmware activated so let's press the reset button in arduino uh, leo the the reset button is available on board so you can just press so if you press that one uh, it will show uh, this com port 21 which is the boot loader of Arduino Leo 21 remember 21 okay so after a few seconds it's go back to normal one so if we go back into our uh, MM Joy firmware uploader uh, here it still show 28 that is for the micro we are gonna change this into com port 21 Remember the bootloader of the Arduino Leo, and we take again this one. You can keep this one the same because it has uh, it used the same format, uh, 80 mega 32U4, and Arduino. So you still kept this the same if you do it the same uh, uh, at the same time. But but if you already shut down and you already shut down your computer and open it up again, you have to select this file, the hex file again, and this parameter just check and adjust this com port accordingly. Remember, you tick this one, it's already tick, and then you press reset button on board of your Arduino Leo. Okay, so it will start again the process and upload the firmware to your Arduino Leo. So done. Now you can see again this one come up with the same ID and VID because we haven't changed anything here. So uh, the, the name is still the same, uh, everything will be the same. So recall the last one, the Pro Micro also have the same vendor ID and peripheral ID. So if you attach both of them, it will be conflicting, okay, <laughs> from uh, each of it uh, uh, onto one another. So you have to create your own PID differently. So this one is for the Leo, the other one uh, uh, is for the Micro. So we complete the step two of preparing the Leonardo uh, or the, and the Pro Micro Arduino Pro Micro and Leonardo with the MM Joy firmware, but it's still blank. So you haven't done any programming to the to the MM Joy 2 firmware, the setup, everything. It has not been done. So we're gonna discuss that in step four. But before step four, we better take a look at how you're gonna set up your hardware first, because that's is your design started. Okay, so see you in uh, video number three.